in terms of setting your price, you know, based on the value that you provide, I think, you know, I, I get a lot of, I, ha, I actually get a, quite a lot of questions and, um, you know, this morning, just, just before we started, uh, you know, I was, um, you know, chatting with, with Aaron and Aaron was saying, oh, I'm in a rural area, you know, regional New South Wales and, you know, people don't have the disposal income around here that, you know, they have in the big city to splash out on designer Pilates classes. Well, um, I guess, uh, you know, my response to that is, well, there are going to be some people there that don't, right? But is there a fancy restaurant in your town where, where I can buy a bottle of wine for $80 if I want? There's not. There's not a vineyard near town where people can go and have a three bottle of wine lunch and some, you know, really expensive cheese and stuff like that. You know, like if I'm a, if I'm a rich Sydneyite and I travel to your town, what do I do on the weekend? Right. I, because I bet you anything, there are places where I could spend my high disposable income in your town, right? Whether it's a restaurant or a boot clothing boutique or a spa or, you know, I don't know what's, you know, I don't know Nara. Probably last time I drove there, through there it was a fish and chips shop on the corner or whatever <laughs> in 1995. But I bet you anything that there is somewhere in town that if I'm if I'm a Sydney business person on $150,000 a year, I can go down to Nara and have a jolly good weekend with good quality wine and food and a massage and maybe some hot oil dripped on my face by the massage therapist and all of that stuff, right? And I will gladly pay through the nose for that. Right, and so why can't you be part of that strata of the market, right? And I bet if I can go to your town, I can also buy a hamburger and a box of chips for five dollars, right? And you get to choose which end of the market you want to position yourself at. So I'm not saying one's better than the other, right? But if you are at the hamburger and chips end, well, you've got to sell a lot of hamburgers and a lot of chips because you only make five cents on every one, right? Whereas if you're selling a $250 bottle of wine and a you know, $1,000 a day spa treatment, well, you don't have to sell that many of those, you know? So, you know, that's, that's a, a positioning decision for you to make. And, you know, if you do decide to make, you know, that positioning decision where you want to be more at the, the upmarket end, Okay, well, you've got to understand what do those people value? You know, well, they, I think, you know, Marcel's got it right. They value experience, you know, as in having an experience. You know, they don't want to, they don't want daggy surroundings. They don't want home brand toilet paper. You know, like they want nice things and they want, they want everything slick. Okay. And they want convenience. They want your booking system to work perfectly and, you know, all of that stuff. And they want good air conditioning and, you know, I mean, you know what the things are, right? Um, whereas the hamburg, you know, if you go into the hamburger shop and it's not air conditioned, it's like, it's slightly annoying, but it's not going to stop you going back there next time. Right. But if you go to the Hilton hotel and the air conditioning is not working, it's like, fuck that. I'm not going back there. <laughs> right. Pay these prices. Okay. So, so you have different expectations at, at, you know, different price points. And so if you want to raise your price point, you just got to meet the, the expectations of the people in that price range. And I guarantee you there are those people in your town. And if you just look down the road and go, oh, the Pilates studio down the road's charging fifteen dollars, well, that's the ham- they're the hamburger and chips people, right? So, you know, don't don't copy them. You know, if, if little Johnny jump, jumped off a cliff, would you jump off a cliff? All right. So, so I think you know, I'm not saying you shouldn't charge what other people are charging. What I'm saying is you shouldn't choose your prices just because someone else is charging that, right? If you choose your price based on what you want to provide to your client and just so happens that someone else also charges that, fine, right? But don't just look around and copy everyone else and go, oh, I'm just going to do what they're doing. 